Many of you are familiar with our engines and our combinations, but what I'd like to show you now is some of our development capabilities. This is a V16 quad turbo engine that we designed and built for the Devel 16. This is the Devel 16. This engine was built right here at Steve Morris Engines. This is a one piece billet block, water jacketed for maximum cooling. One piece crankshaft, one piece billet camshaft. Cylinder heads are of our design. Intake manifold, our design, built exclusively for the Devel 16. This is quad turbo. These are exclusively built for the Devel 16. They are 81 millimeter. Turbo specifically designed for this application. This engine is dry sunk oiling with five stages, four for the oil pan, one for the turbo section. Dual drive-by-wire throttle bodies with water-to-air intercooler. Now clearly, this engine will not be packaged exactly like this in the car. Uh, this is for testing purposes only, as is with this intercooler. But what we have done here is we are maintaining certain water temperatures to simulate uh, intercooling effectiveness in the car. This engine, as we'll look at on the dyno graphs, has made 3,000 horsepower on pump gas, that's on 92-93 octane fuel, at only 20 psi of boost. This is a hydraulic roller camshaft in this motor because we have built this motor specifically for streetcar use for the Devel 16. We will be doing a full race version of this engine also with solid roller camshaft and larger boost numbers after we do some uh, dyno modifications. As you'll see in the dyno graph, uh, we have made 3,000 at 20 PSI, we have made 4,000 at 30 PSI with a stunning 4,500 horsepower at 36 pounds of boost before running into the limitations of our dyno. This is EFI, of course, with under manifold injectors to keep a clean, simple look throughout the engine. Our billet valve covers, along with that billet intake manifold, designed specifically for boosted application. Now here you can see, this is the uh, higher boost, 36 pounds of boost, race fuel, VPC16 only fuel, but still with the hydraulic roller in the street mode. Now we don't recommend this, this is not where we're going to recommend this being for maximum horsepower in street mode. We want to see this at a lower RPM, or I'm sorry, at a lower uh, horsepower level, at the 4,000 horsepower level. 4,000. 515 horsepower at 6,900 RPM. 3,519 foot-pounds of torque, all at 36 PSI of boost. Now in this graph, you can see our pump gas tune, and this is a legitimate 92-93 octane hydraulic roller every everyday street-driven mode. What we can see here is 3,006 horsepower at only 6,900 RPM. Now this is just a little bit before we did some other modifications to the engine uh, because we wanted this hydraulic roller to RPM just a little bit higher. So we had, this is pre-modification uh, to the hydraulic roller system. Um, so we would actually make just a little bit more, but in our boost level of only 20 pounds of boost, uh, intercooled, this is extremely good. You can see right up through here we came up to a limitation on, this was a limitation in valve train where it dived off right here. Um, and you can see uh, that uh, we have made more RPM after we did our modifications. But this is a legit, very good 3,000 horsepower on 93 octane fuel. 
To learn more about our capabilities, please visit us at stevemorrisengines.com. I'm Steve Morris. Have a great day.